Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, Sonar Cube project. Okay, um, Sonar Cube is a static application security testing tool, all right? Um, in which case we use it. So it's like um, we use Sonar Cube for code security purposes. If you want to detect bugs, uh, vulnerabilities, uh, in your code then this is the tool to be used all right um i will be using um the pet Te pet clinic uh, application which i have just forked from the following repo See if you want to 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 know more about this uh, application just click here to go to uh, that uh, uh, repository okay uh, the focus is not to develop this application it's a spring boot uh, application but uh, I'm just going to use it to demonstrate how we can integrate Jenkins, uh, Sonar Cube into Jenkins. All right. Um, yeah. So this is the the source code of uh, this project. All right. Um, in this project, we we need Sonar Cube to be uh, up and running, and also uh, Jenkins also. Uh, should be up and running okay i'm not going to walk you through the installation process just go to the official documentation and uh, follow the instructions to install jenkins and also sonar cube all right um in my case uh, i always use uh, ansible to install as you can see i have installed uh, here sonar cube uh, have a playbook also for Jenkins and so on. So if you guys uh, want me to do a video on Ansible, um, uh, just uh, drop a comment. All right, so I can do that. Um, I have my uh, server, so I have two virtual machines on AWS, Jenkins and Sonar Cube, up and running, and I have also already uh, set up. Here we have the Jenkins server and uh, we have also the Sonar Cube server. All right. Um, also, I can show you the, the pipeline. So this is the pipeline we will be uh, using. Um, as you know, this is the syntax uh, in Jenkins. I can yes you can zoom a little bit so um yes we have agent any okay, all right we have um the tool maven because in our project this is a java project and uh, as you can see we are using uh, maven here uh, so i need to install um where am i so I need to install Maven. Um, I have installed Maven in my, um, as you can see, this is the Jenkins server. I have Maven already installed, which Maven and uh, Maven is uh, installed. Okay. And then I want, I need to set up this, uh, this Maven home directory in, um, in Jenkins as well. I will show you okay and uh, we have the build stage then uh, just use the maven clean package to build and then we have the sonar analysis stage so we have three stages the build stage we will build the the, the 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 package and then we will uh, use uh, sonar cube to analyze and for that we knew we, we need a a sonar cube plugin in jenkins uh, i will show you how to set up this uh, plugin also uh we we can do also a quality gate with Tonar cube i will explain everything all right this is what you have so now let's go to uh sonar cube for the basic settings okay first of all we need uh to to generate a token uh in in sonar cube to generate a token uh we can you can come here okay uh my account and security generate token uh, you give a name let's call it uh, 
Jenkins. Uh, sonar token ok uh, you select tab here user token and then generate ok this is the token the token has been generated let's copy it uh, ok I will for now just paste it here ok then we have our token um we need then to cons to configure this token in uh, jenkins let's go to jenkins um as i said the first thing we need is to go to ma manage jenkins uh here global configuration we need to set up the maven um maven here click give a name maven let's say okay hyphen 3.8.6 okay we don't want to install automatically because we already have it installed i just want to uh to provide the path okay the path as i said here is the path where is the bin located okay we take all right this is the path the maven home okay then for this maven setup is okay okay apply save okay now we need to to check if we have the sonar uh plugin okay available we check for sonar cube okay we have sonar cube scanner click here install without restarting okay let's wait okay done it uh, it has been installed now we need to configure go back uh let's go to the managing kings here configure system uh first of all let's uh let's add the token manage credential Jenkins credential uh add credential okay it's a secret test uh secret we have to paste this token all right paste it the id let's call it Jenkins Sona token okay Sona token okay let's create Jenkins Sona tokens done now we can go and configure the sonar cube plugin okay manage configure system scroll uh, okay this is it sonar cube server we check here and then we add let's give a name sonar cube all right so we will be using this name in our pipeline and here we just paste um, all right copy
Ok. Then we have to add the uh, for the, the the authentication. We need to grab this Sona token. Okay, so he can authenticate. So yes, this is it. Then we have to apply and uh, save. Okay, now it's done. We we go back to our Sona Cube. So what do we need? We need also to to configure a Sona webhook, and uh, so that if the 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 analysis has been done here by Sona Cube server, then Sona Cube uh, will uh, give a feedback to Jenkins. Will 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 because here Jenkins is not aware of this uh, analysis, okay? Because this is handled by Sona Cube server, but we need uh, to give a feedback to Jenkins so that Jenkins also is aware, is known uh, the result. Uh, knows the result of the, the 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 analysis okay for that we need to configure a webhook um, we need this address copy let's go back here to to dinkins uh, to sona cube administration we click here webhooks okay there is no webhook we need to create one okay we give a this is a, Jenkins okay and we paste the URL here and then we have to complete so now cube iPhone web hook okay slash back always here otherwise it will complain so this is the jenkins uh ul and then we complete sona cube hyphen web hook okay it's done we create all right then we have our web hook uh let's go back to Jenkins then okay now we need to create our job uh, let's say sonar cube pipeline okay all right we just click here pipeline script okay git and then let's take this repo uh, http up we copy come back here It's a public repo, so no no credential needed. And here the branch is main. All right, uh, we have our Jenkins file. Uh, okay, done. Just apply and save. All right now we can uh, run our our pipeline all right we'll be using this maven so maven this is the maven we just uh, configure in the global configuration tool all right and um yes he will find maven because we have configured the maven home and uh, here Sonar Cube will do the analysis. Okay, and here I will explain later on. Uh, it's um, a, a, a quality gate here. It gives us like um, 
the control and to set some criteria uh some condition for us for example i will explain later on okay uh, let's run first let's go back okay let's build okay then it's building all right the application the the pipeline has uh, successfully completed as you can see so we have the build stage we have the analysis uh, stage and then the the quality gate stage all right and can you see here uh, we have uh, sona cube quality gate um, this is um, done by the web hook we just configured in so in uh, in sonar cube okay so when sonar cube finished finished uh the the the, the analysis then he he sent back um a, a feedback to or the result to to dinkin so without the webhook we cannot have this uh, uh result this uh, feedback okay so now uh, so uh, dinkins also knows that okay the the analysis passed okay as you can see so this is the uh, why we need to 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 configure the the web hook sonar web web hook all right and uh, yeah let's have a look in the in the build console output all right so here we have uh, our application it's a um, spring boot so as you know spring boot platform is a lot of uh, dependencies so we have to, to install all of them and then okay build success and um, after that we have okay checking status this is for the analysis okay status okay quality gate is okay all right so it has been completed successfully and we can go back to our sonar cube project and you see we have uh this result so if we didn't configure the web hook uh okay you can have this result in um sonar cube web uh, se server but uh, jenkins won't be aware of the the result okay here you can see he checks for bugs so okay there is no bugs at all um and uh host hotspot review code smell coverage duplications and vulnerabilities we we have some vulnerabilities here but it passed why i'm going to show you because there is a, a default quality gate you see this is a sonar way this is a, a default uh, quality gate for sonar web and the the quality the quality gate gives us control over the criteria a condition we have some condition uh from which we can um fail for example here okay coverage is uh less than 80 percent so see if coverage is less than 80 percent then it will fail and uh, let's uh, check here coverage here is uh 89 percent okay so it's more than 80 percent if it's like uh, uh, 75 percent then uh, it will fail okay and so on here uh, bugs as well and so on for us we can define our own we can we, we can define uh, or create our own um, quality gate okay we can customize our own quality gate if for example now if i want for in my case uh in terms in my case for example if i want uh to 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 have a condition like for example i don't want uh, nine uh, vulnerabilities okay uh, i need uh sonar cube to 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 to, to fail the, the analysis if there is maybe 
more than two vulnerabilities or maybe more if 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 even i just have one vulnerability then you have to paste then you have to configure your your own your own um you have to configure your own uh quality gateway all right so here we have seen um um let's let's summarize we have seen how to integrate uh sonar cube uh into jenkins all right and uh we 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 have set up sonar cube scanner uh plugins into jenkins to to be able to do that and we need we needed also a sonar cube uh token uh that we have also uh stored in jenkins so that we can uh be able to connect to authenticate okay uh um to sonar cube server all right we needed all of this and we we have checked that okay sonar cube is integrated into our pipeline and is doing his job all right now we will be focusing on quality gate okay and uh, i will be do i will do it in the next uh, video here we will be uh, uh customizing our own quality gate meaning for example i i want uh to to create a quality gate and with a condition that okay if maybe i have uh more than two uh, vulnerabilities then it will fail and here we won't have past we will have fail and also in uh in in uh, let's in jenkins here we, we we will have here uh failed as well and what we need is for example if if this this analysis fail then the pipeline should fail as well all right it should fail as well that's why we need this feedback this feedback if we don't have if we don't have this feedback okay even if um um sonar cube here it will be failed but if we don't have this feedback to jenkins for jenkins it will be okay passed it will be passed and then uh the the pipeline will be uh, successful but that's not what we want we want if it's failed the analysis failed the pipeline should fail as well so that's why we need this feedback okay then i will do it in the next video so uh thank you very much for your attention uh if you like the content please uh subscribe share and uh, yes like and so that um, other people also can uh, have the opportunity to see this video and learn from it all right i will see you in the next video goodbye